For several years, 71-year-old activist Joseph Jazz Hayden has been monitoring and filming the many illegal race-based stop and frisks that police have been conducting throughout Harlem. Published on his site, allthingsharlem.com, Hayden's videos were widely seen by the general public and reported by news organizations such as the New York Times, NY1, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, and other mainstream outlets. In December 2011, Hayden became a victim of the very practices he has been working to end. Hayden was stopped while driving and his car illegally searched by cops he had filmed only a few months prior. The police found a pocket knife and a mini replica baseball bat and charged him with two counts of criminal possession of a weapon in the third degree, a charge punishable with two to seven years in prison apiece. Last week, protesters gathered in front of the district attorney's office of New York while activists King Downing, a lawyer, and Johanna Fernandez, a professor, delivered petitions of over 2,000 signatures, as well as letters urging district attorney Cyrus Vance to drop the charges. It happened upstairs, and I'd like to preface these remarks by saying that I think it's ironic that Jazz Hayden interviewed uh, Cyrus Vance right before Cyrus Vance was elected. When Cyrus Vance was elected, he believed in democracy and he was open to meeting with people from the community today however that we are trying to expose the violations in jazz hayden's case the same person who interviewed vance and to whom vance said that he would stand up for equality and justice and against the racial profiling of the police in this city a overwhelmingly large percentage of the people charged are people of color, African American and Latino. I'd like to make sure as a DA's office that I can say, uh, we can't tell the police who to arrest and not to arrest, but that when it comes to us, we are not making charging decisions that are biased in any way. When representatives of the community and Jazz Hayden go to speak to Vance, uh, Cyrus Vance, we get the we were sent to the property release window. Oh, no. And the motion window. And, and, the, motion and, the, motion win window. and the motion window and the decline to prosecute window on the seventh floor. The DA's office is on the sixth floor. And guess what? There's absolutely no access to the sixth floor without an escort. So essentially, we've spent the last time Assemblyman Keith Wright, that we are representing uh, members of the community, religious leaders, that we want to essentially uphold our rights to protest, to speak our minds, and to expose injustice. What's going to happen is that someone by the name of Kirsto Hylas, uh, who's a paralegal, is going to come down to accept our letters and our over 2,000 petitions. So I want us to go home tonight and question this thing we call democracy in the United States. We have absolutely no access to the people who are legislating over our lives, sending our people uh, to prison. They will not talk to us. So that's what's happened over the last hour. They will not talk to us. We are not important enough at this particular moment for them to talk to us but come election time they'll be yep. clamoring at our doors yep.